Hello, how are we? Welcome back to my channel, it's Anna. So I have a whole lot of scrap yarn from various projects, specifically medium weight yarn that calls for like a five millimeter hook. So I really haven't had much use for it recently because I've been making a lot of sweaters, but I figured I should probably use it up before buying more because I only have so much room. So I decided that this week, you guys will get to design what I make partially as an excuse for me to use my excess yarn, but I also think it would be really fun because I want to see what you guys want to see, I guess. So I posted some polls to my Instagram story and you guys responded and I'm going to tell you what this sweater vest is going to look like. That's where, I don't remember if I mentioned it, but we're making a sweater vest. I don't have enough to make a sweater, but I do have enough to make a sweater vest, so we're doing that. I posted to my story, you guys responded, let's see what you guys had to say. I have my phone, let's look. It hasn't been a full 24 hours, which kind of isn't fair, but like, um, your girl has to start filming at some point. She, <laughs> I always start my projects too late. Anyways, the first question I asked was how many colors will we use? The majority of you guys said four. The options were four, five, six, or seven, but the majority of you said four. So you guys want to see me use four. We will see how that goes. Not gonna lie, like looking at the yarn I have, I might need to bump it up to five, but it was pretty close anyway. So I don't feel too bad if we need to do that. I asked if you wanted warm or cool colors. Majority of you said warm, but for a while there it was 50-50, like almost to the vote, which I thought was really funny. Um, but warm pulled through, which is fine because I love warm colors, so I'm not complaining. Next, how do we want it to look? I said, do we want it to be color blocking, like big blocks of colors, stripes, or argyle, which if you don't know what argyle is, it's like those diamonds, that diamond pattern that you normally see on sweater vests. So first place was color blocking, second was argyle, and third was stripes. So um, I was kind of hoping for argyle or stripes, but Color blocking it is, friends. Color blocking it is. And the last question I asked was, how do we want it to fit? The options were oversized or true to fit, like true to size. Um, and the majority of you by a lot said oversized. So this is what we're making. A warm toned, oversized, color blocking vest with four colors, maybe five. I'm excited. I think it's gonna come out fun. I'm just gonna do this in uh, half double crochets, um, yeah, I'm just gonna wing it per use as I normally do. Let me show you the colors I'm using. Here are the colors I've selected. We have yellow, orange, brown, but it's like a warm tone brown, pink, and white. I haven't decided if I want to go up half a size of the hook. I haven't decided, it doesn't really matter. These details I don't think you guys much care about, you just want to see the sweater best. But I'll be done talking. We will get started with the sweater vest. I keep saying sweater and I mean sweater vest. We will get started with the vest in just one moment.
want. I actually think it looks really nice. I just don't love how it's so little, like it's bottom heavy. It's not as balanced on the top, but I think we can flip it a little bit on the back. So then the whole composition of the vest will look good, but I'm happy with it. It's coming out much better than I thought it would. And I like the colors more than I thought I would initially. So I will see you guys tomorrow to start the back. are set up on a thing of M&Ms stacked on top of seven books um because I'm just my tripod's right there but I just couldn't bring myself to get it best update like I said day four this is where we are at on the back panel I'm hoping to finish it today um and then potentially also get the cuffing done like if I could get the whole vest done today I would be thrilled but I'm not sure if that'll happen. We will have to wait and see. It is still cropped just because I prefer vests that look like that. Um, but it is like a very boxy fit, very loose, very oversized, just as you all requested. And I do have enough yarn now to finish the whole thing because I got some more. We have four colors. I listened to you. I did not go and do my own five color thing. It is oversized. What else did you guys want? Oh, it's color blocking, obviously, you see that. Yeah, and it's warm toned. I think I got everything there. Um, so it is exactly how you want, but of course in my style. So we are going to try to finish this. I need to find a new TV show to watch as I do this because I have run out of YouTube to catch up on. The day has finally come, apparently. So let's go and get her done. I would just like to give a big shout out and thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. So I've worked with Skillshare before, so a lot of you probably know what it is, but if you don't, that's totally fine. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people have already come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare is home to thousands of different classes in a variety of different topics like productivity, entrepreneurship, illustration, digital art, fine arts. There are so many different classes to take, so no matter where your interests lie today, tomorrow, in a year, you'll be able to find something that's really fun and different to do on Skillshare. So the class that I actually just finished taking was with Michael Karn Jana Percorn. I believe that's how you say it. If it's not, I'm so sorry. But the class is called Real Productivity Create Your Ideal Week. And I was really drawn to this class because I am not only a full-time student who is trying to figure out like which class is in person, which class am I online for? I'm also, you know, filming and editing YouTube videos, trying to keep up with other social media platforms. I have an on-campus job. I'm trying to have a social life 
as much as we can right now um but needless to say i'm a little bit busy but he basically just went through talked through his week to week process how he breaks it down and he was really great in stressing that like it will be different for everyone which is nice to hear because one way it's not always the right way another thing i really really love about skillshare is that it was literally curated to be a learning platform so there are no ads that will interrupt any of your learning and because it's a platform for learning about a bunch of different things they add a bunch of new classes all the time and for you guys my subscribers the first 1000 of you to click the link in my description box will receive a free trial of skillshare's premium membership and then after that if you love it as much as i do which I think you will. It's less than $10 a month for an annual subscription, which is super affordable for all the amazing classes that you get. So if you want, the link is in my description. Come join us, come learn a bunch of new skills, expand on skills you already have, um, and all that fun stuff. So once again, thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, and let's get back into you guys controlling my project. It was certainly interesting to say the least. is finally done here we have the front piece um, obviously I still need to sew them together and I'm going to also add ribbing around the arm and the collar up there but I've been sitting on my floor for like a good two and a half three hours so I am gonna go clean a little bit I'm gonna go sh take a shower and then I will be back so we can finish this up um, hopefully by the end of tonight because that would be very fun <sighs> okay we're back I am a little bit cleaner my house is a little bit cleaner you are now on a tripod we can now sew it together I normally have been in recent videos crocheting things like this go like the sides or the sleeves or whatever but I picked up some new yarn needles so I'm gonna use those today I just think it'll be a little bit easier I don't know Maybe will, maybe won't. I like both ways, but I'm gonna sew them together today. And then we're gonna try to do some edging and ribbing and all that fun stuff. And then we will be done. And I think we can get it done today. I believe in us. It's only four o'clock. The day is young. We could definitely finish it.
All right, here it is. It is finished. Here is the vest that you guys designed. Four colors, warm toned, color blocking, and oversized. Um, like I mentioned, I think maybe in like one of my last clips, I still made it kind of cropped just because that's like the only way I would really enjoy it. I don't have anything else to wear it with. I like if it were like much longer, but it's it hits like the top of my jeans. My jeans aren't high rise, so it's not like insanely cropped, just a little bit. I think I definitely made the armholes a tiny teensy bit too big. Um, but it could be nice laying it maybe over like a sweatshirt or something. I'm not gonna lie, I do not know how to style vests very well. I'm not um not the best with that, but we're working on it, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's how it turned out. Let me know if this is kind of what you were envisioning. If not, that's fine. We all imagine things different ways, but I'd love to hear what you guys were thinking about how it would turn out. Um, and also let me know if you liked a video like this, because I'd be happy to do it again. It was really fun. It made me do something that maybe I wasn't used to doing with colors that I wasn't used to using. Um, and it was really... It was fun. I had a great time. But on that note, that is all I have for this week's video. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for some more good vibes. Hit that post notification bell if you want to know every single time I post a brand new video. I post every Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you all so very dearly, and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye, everybody.